School's out. Paris is so excited about summer vacation. She is going to go to Yosemite in California. Paris arrived at Yosemite with her family. They set up their tents ready to camp. This was going to be a vacation they would never forget. That night, Paris and her younger brother Colin stood around the campfire roasting marshmallows. It was the best night ever. Later that night, Paris stayed out by the fire to read a book. Her mother told her to put it out when she was done. Paris woke up to see red flames surrounding her, a wildfire. She tried to find her family, but she couldn't. She fell to the ground among the thick black smoke. A few days later, Paris woke up in the hospital. She asked the doctor the cause of the wildfire. He said it was probably an unattended campfire. Her heart sank. Did she ever put out the fire? Paris went to government with their proposal on how to get Yosemite back on the track to recovery. The government would accept her idea if she got at least 500 signatures. Paris never got enough signatures to satisfy the government. But even though they were leaving for school, Paris knew that she was a determined girl who would make a change in the world. Paris is now a junior in high school, and for her end-of-the-year project, she is assigned to make a difference in her world or community. Paris suddenly got a flashback of the wildfire incident a couple of years ago. She called her parents to see if she could go to Yosemite. They agreed. Paris saw in the local news that wildfires were hitting Yosemite again. This was because of global warming, which caused dry grasses, a prime condition for wildfires. Also, this was due to many unattended campfires. First, Paris needed a plan. She decided that she needed more advertisement and propaganda, so she put up flyers around the city and posted on social media. She also created a website for people to learn more about her mission. Paris needed help, so she invited over Colin and Sasha. She showed them her petition and they loved it. Sasha wanted to take it further, so she suggested a meeting to get more voices. Later at the meeting, I, Paris Johnson, invite you all to this meeting today to address the issue of ongoing wildfires. If we tweak the modern smoke detector, then we can still have campfires along with safe forests. They got 500 signatures. Paris went back to the government with her new and improved idea. And after a couple of hours, the government agreed with her cause. After approval from the government, Paris and Colin and Sasha went around Yosemite and put up smoke detectors and masks to protect people from the smoke. Paris created a website selling her new invention. Soon they got many orders from around the nation. Their device came to be known as the needle for its impeccable precision. The next day, Paris saw herself on the news. They were talking about her brilliant idea. Later, Paris was recognized for her efforts and won the Goldman Environmental Prize. So that's how Paris Johnson was able to help the place she once ruined. You can make a change too. No matter how big or small, it helps the environment.